As you can see, I'm using shaders with the Descent Horizons mod, and that is exactly what I'm going to teach you in this video, how to add shaders to the Descent Horizons. Now, before we go ahead and get started, a couple of things are important. In this video, we're already assuming that you already have Descent Horizons installed, and if you don't have Descent Horizons, the mod for Minecraft 1.21, go ahead and watch that video first, which I'm going to link it in the description on how to install this mod using the Fabric version. It is extremely important that you install the Fabric version of the mod because right now, NeoForge doesn't support shaders, or at least I haven't found a way on how to add shaders to NeoForge because we're going to need to use iris and stuff. So yeah, go ahead and install the fabric version of Distant Horizons first, then come back here. Now, assuming that you already have Distant Horizons installed, the fabric version, we could already go ahead and begin. We're going to need to download a couple of stuff. Now, the first thing that we're going to do is go ahead and download iris. Iris is pretty much the shader loader that is going to allow us to add shaders to Distant Horizons 1.21. Click the second link in the description, which is our written guide on how to download and install iris. Let's scroll down to step one and click download iris here. That will redirect you over here. Click on download now and then click download universal jar. That'll begin the download immediately for the iris installer and while the mod is downloading guys i talked to the apex hosting team and they're giving you 25 percent off if you use the first link in the description to create your first server with apex hosting it could be a java or a bedrock server a server that is hosted online and that has locations all around the world so no matter where you are you could play with your friends and don't worry about lagging or anything like that something that i personally love about apex hosting is that you could create and then control your server through your phone so that means that you could be away from the house and stuff and still change the settings kick people out do anything that you want through your phone again first link in the description 25 percent off with apex hosting and let's keep going with the tutorial once you download the iris installer we're also going to go ahead and download the indium file this mod is required by distant horizons 1.21 you're gonna need it okay there's no other ways around it you're gonna need indium 1.21 for shaders for distant horizon so go ahead and click that third link in the description let's scroll down over here to the files tab and then find the 1.21 version of the mod click on this little three dots click download file and within five seconds the download will begin for indium now after we downloaded indium as well as the iris installer we're gonna need to download the shaders that we want i'm gonna go ahead and leave this link in the description which is a github page where this guy named steve plays 28 all props to him or her i don't know who knows nowadays they came up with this listing here of shaders that are supported by distant horizons now as you can see you have a listing here of shaders there's some other shaders that might not be here that are compatible with distant horizons feel free to try them out but this is a shader pack list that is for sure compatible with distant horizons in this tutorial specifically we're going to use complementary which they are the shaders that you saw in the intro of this video as well again feel free to download any of these shaders that you want in here or your own personal shaders that you might find and try them out but if you want to follow along and download the same shaders as me click where it says download shader pack right below complementary and that will literally begin the download for the complementary reimagined file that you will need to add right now to the game if that download button is not working, you could always use the other pages like CurseForge, ModRint, GitHub, whatever, depending on the shader, right? So now that we have all those three files, which should be the shaders that we just downloaded, Indium and the Iris installer, I want you to go ahead and drag and drop them, those three files to the desktop, right? So you should have the Iris installer, Indium and complementary reimagined. Now, what we're going to do first, and remember, we're assuming all the way through that you already have the Distant Horizons mod installed using Fabric, which means that you already installed the Distant Horizons mod, you installed Fabric and you added the Fabric API to the mods folder, okay? Okay. If you haven't done those yet, go ahead and watch our first video on how to install Distant Horizons. It's one of our most recent videos. Go ahead and watch that video first. I'm actually going to link it in the description below. Okay. Now that you have done that, go ahead and close your Minecraft launcher as well as your Minecraft game fully. And then just go ahead and right click on the Iris installer, click open with and use Java. Remember, you're going to need Java 21 as well. That is something that we explain in the video on how to install Distant Horizons mod 1.21 properly. So you're going to need Java 21 for all this to work. Anyways, go ahead and open the Iris installer. And in here, it is extremely important that you select Iris plus fabric. The reason we're going to select that is because that way Iris is going to go ahead and install Iris and Sodium into the mods folder of fabric. So that way we don't have to download the mods manually and it saves us a little bit of time. And once you select that, go ahead and click on install. And you might get a little prompt in here saying that there is a mods folder already detected. Do you want to update or install Iris? And in here, we're going to click yes. So what that is going to do is add the Iris mod as well as the Sodium mod into that mods folder for ourselves again, and we won't have to download it manually. Once it's completely installed, go ahead and close the installer and you could even delete the Iris installer. Now you don't need it as of right now anymore. Go ahead and delete it. Now all we have left is the Indium mod, which we need to add to our mods folder for fabric. Just go ahead and press the Windows key plus the R key on your keyboard. So Windows plus R, and then just go ahead and open the run command in here and then type percentage update or app data percentage and then hit OK. And that is going to open this folder in here. Go ahead and find that Minecraft. This is usually the second folder here. Go ahead and open the dot Minecraft folder. And in here, go ahead and look for the mods folder, which is right here for me right now. You should have your mods folder because again, we're assuming that you already saw the Distant Horizons mod. Extremely important because I know some people are going to watch this video without having the Distant Horizons mod here already, which is something you should have done a long time ago. Anyways, once in here, just go ahead and drag and drop that Indium mod that we downloaded earlier, the jar file into this folder. I already have it, but I'm actually going to go ahead and delete 
delete it and I'm going to actually go ahead and try and drop it into this folder. By this point and inside this folder, you should now have Distant Horizons, the Fabric API, Iris, okay, you should have Iris in here, which we added using the Iris installer, Sodium and Indium. These are all the mods that you will need to use shaders with Distant Horizons. You can now close the mods folder, keep your shaders handy because we're going to add them to the game in a second. So now we're going to go ahead and open our Minecraft launcher in here. And now when the Minecraft launcher opens, you might have Iris and Sodium selected automatically, but that doesn't matter because we're looking for Fabric Loader 1.21. That's what we want to see in here, the Fabric Loader 1.21. If you don't see it in here, it doesn't matter. You could just head over to installations and find it in here. As you can see, I have it right here on top, Fabric Loader 1.21. And we know that that is the instance of fabric that has all the mods that we want and that is the one we're going to use to play distant horizons with shaders before we go ahead and launch the distant horizons mod however or the fabric loader i want you to click on these three dots in here by the way make sure you have modded selected without modded you won't see all of that in here so go ahead and select modded and click on these little three dots click on edit click on more options and in here i want you to go ahead and increase the ram amount that you give to the game if possible okay not all of you might have a lot of ram available in your computer to give to the game if you want to know how much ram you have exactly you could just press ctrl shift and escape at the same time and that will open the task manager just head over to right here to the performance tab in here and just look for memory and as you can see you will see your total memory i actually have 64 gigabytes of ram available right now i'm using 11 because i'm recording and stuff but yeah 64 gigabytes for me is more than plenty i don't recommend that you go above 50 percent of your total ram so i wouldn't go above 32 for example since i have 64 but if you have something like 16 for example i wouldn't go above 8 or if you have 8 i wouldn't go above 4 so you get the point right just look at your total total memory RAM and determine how much you will need to give to the game for the game to perform well because the Distant Horizons mod it's a heavy load mod pack especially if you're using shaders. In this instance specifically I'm gonna give the game 16 gigabytes of RAM. Again some of you might not even come close to this. This is just me personally because I have a lot of RAM that I could give to the game and once you determine how much RAM is the right amount for you click on save and now just go ahead and launch that fabric instance that we added. Hit on play click that you understand the risk and then click play again and wait for the game to load. Okay and once the game has opened go ahead and launch a single player world it could be any world that you have and the distant horizons is supposed to be a client side mod so it will work on multiplayer servers again if you need a server go ahead and use that first link in the description to get 25 off with apex hosting anyways go ahead and launch a world and most likely when you open the world you won't have any shaders so i actually went ahead and disabled mine however you will have the distant horizons mod working right so you have the distant horizons mod but no shaders so to add shaders all you have to do now is go ahead and press the letter o on your keyboard and that is going to open this menu in here most likely you don't have anything in here but don't worry because we're going to add the shaders that we downloaded earlier into here to do that, go ahead and click where it says open shader pack folder. And that is going to open a folder that again, most likely will be empty for most of you. Even if your folder is empty, don't worry, it doesn't matter because we are going to add the shaders now. So go ahead and drag and drop that zip file that we downloaded earlier, the shaders into this folder. So if you downloaded the same as me, just go ahead and add it now. If you downloaded any other shaders, go ahead and add it in here now. Again, the list with the compatible shaders will be in the description of this video. Go ahead and add it into here. And now you should see the shader in here. Close this folder, head back into the game. In here, you should see the shaders that you just added pop up in here. In this case, I added the complementary reimagine so i'm gonna go ahead and select those go ahead and select the shaders that you added and then once it's selected click apply give it a second for it to load it could take a minute it could take two your game could freeze some people might even have a crash whenever they try this the first time so you might have to try it two times three times before you get it working and i'm sorry guys this will vary depending on your computer once the shader is loaded just go ahead and click on done and then head back into the game and you should see the shaders in here so that is pretty much distant horizons with shader that is how you're going to add it of course you could always press escape head over to options and set up distant horizons in here however you want as you can see right now i'm using i paid for the whole cpu which is the one that will make the most out of your cpu load so that way we actually get the mod running smoother i also have my render distance to 512 that might be a lot that might be too little depends on you guys however you want to do this of course you could go to the advanced options change the graphics in here and of course you could always just head over to video settings and change the setting of your shader pack in here to make the game look different and whatnot whatever you want to do you could do here in the shader packs and then the shader pack settings option here in the video settings so that is something that solium will allow you to do and you could play with the distant horizons mod settings through the distant horizons ui right here something pretty cool that you could do with iris now is just press the letter k on your keyboard and as you can see whenever you press the letter k you will actually disable the shaders immediately and if you press the letter k again it will actually enable the shaders right back in into the game so that is pretty much it and that is pretty much how to add shaders to distant horizons 1.21 i hope this video is useful to you guys if it is all i ask in return is that you please subscribe that's all i want just subscribe so we could keep growing this community and as always bye bye